converting people. When a Christian wants to talk about God, because maybe they've got a passion inside of them, maybe God's turned on a light inside of them that they can't turn it off and they just want to talk about him all the time. You know, maybe he's touched their lives in such a way and it's mind-blowing and it's like they just want to talk about him, okay? That's not specifically trying to convert you. The conversion process is started off by God, actually, you know we have a god <laughs> funny that the holy spirit goes inside of you he can read your mind he knows what you're thinking and he knows where your heart place is right and he knows your soul and if he desires to draw you like magnet you okay um he will set the ball rolling now he knows all of his children Christians. And he will line them up at specific times to talk to you. And what it is, is that he knows when you're ready. Okay. Imagine it like a pack of bananas on a shelf in the shop. If there's a really green one, you're not going to want to eat it yet. It's not ready yet. So you're not going to buy that one. You know, you'll buy one that's yellower unless you're going to put it in the cupboard for a couple of days and, and then go back to it, you know. People um, need ripening too. Mm -hmm. And us people don't do that process. God, the Holy Spirit, he does things. You know, he, he draws us to him to create an interest in us to want to know more about him. You know, if you've got ideas in your head like, um, oh, I don't believe in that. Oh my gosh, no, why don't they just shut up? No, don't believe in that. No, that's a load of rubbish. You're not ready. It's like you're green, okay? And if there was a Christian trying to convert you, it's going to be a complete waste of time. It's going to be like hitting your head against a brick wall. So no point there, right? But if you're like, well... I think there's something there, but I'm not quite sure what. You know, you're at the stage where you're asking questions, maybe. So God might put a few Christians in your circle of friends who will talk to you about the subject and it gives you something to think about, see? And then when you go home and you're thinking about it and it's like, yeah, I wonder about this though, but I'm not sure about this bit though. Well, God knows what's going on inside your mind. So he will then line you up with different sets of people or different topics from said person. And then you'll have more chats. And, you know, the interest is there because of God drawing you to him to have that interest. So doesn't matter how long a Christian talks to you, they're not going to be able to convert you unless God has put it into process first. It's good that. Just thought I'd let you know. Bye-bye.